Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to create an aging effect like we did in our latest commercial using FaceApp, EBSynth and After Effects. Check it out. When you download footage from ArtGrid, it is yours to use forever and ever and ever and ever. So go to ArtGrid now and start creating without limits. Time, it's just an illusion. And just a small reminder before we jump in, our AG Edit Challenge is still running. There's amazing prizes up for grabs and the deadline is September 20th. If you want to know more details, check the link in the description below. And we have an amazing giveaway waiting for you at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around. So before we start talking about the post-production and the aging effect, let's talk about the production side of this commercial. We shot the commercial in this office space, which had a nice color palette that matched the ArtGrid brand color. We chose a specific spot in the office space that gave us the most depth and color contrast for our composition. This made our subject pop and also made sure he's the main focus in the frame. For the key light, we had a 2K HMI shining through two diffusion panels. We also had another smaller HMI with a diffusion for the backlight. To add more texture to the frame, we had another HMI shining through a staircase and we also hazed up the room and got those beautiful light rays. And for the camera setup, we had the Ursa Mini with the Sigma Art 18 to 35 millimeter lens with a black promised and an ND filter, all sitting on a Dana dolly to get that smooth dolly in movement. That's it for the production side of things. Now let's dive deep into the aging effect and the post-production. So to pull it off, we've used FaceApp which if you've been living under a rock, is an app where you can upload your picture into it and turn yourself into an old man, a woman, or whatever makes you happy. Which is pretty crazy when you think about it, because back in the days, if you wanted to create a transformation effect, you had to do it all in camera and practically. Like the Carl Strauss effect used in the 1931 Jacqueline Hyde movie, where basically they had to apply red makeup to the actor and use a red filter on the camera, which made the makeup disappear. Then switch that filter into a blue filter, which made that red makeup pop into frame. Obviously, this effect can only be used with black and white footage because you can't tell the difference when switching from a red filter to a blue filter. If you want to know more about this specific effect and other aging effects that have been used in modern films like The Irishman or Benjamin Button, we have a blog article talking all about that linked in the description below, so go check it out. Now back to how we've created the aging effect for this commercial. In addition to FaceApp, we also used EB Synth, which is a free tool to turn paintings into video animations. But for this video, we repurposed it to create our aging effect. So here's the workflow we did step by step. Open up After Effects and import your footage. Then create a new composition out of that footage. Then export your footage as a JPEG sequence. Now let's create different folders to keep everything organized and hit render. Now you can see we have our footage exported as individual JPEG frames. The next step will be to choose the frame that you want to create the aging effect on. Try to find the frame that holds the most details of your subject's face. That frame is going to serve as a reference to the rest of our footage. You can choose multiple frames, but in our specific case, one frame was good enough. Once you have your frame, download it into your phone, open up FaceApp and use the age filter. As you can see, the results are super impressive with no work from our side. Now save that picture to your phone and transfer it back to your computer. It's important to name that picture in the same name of your original frame. If you want to tweak or enhance the aging effect, you can open up the image in Photoshop and apply any change you want. Now open up EB Synth Click select and choose the first frame from your JPEG sequence. You can see that EBSynth will recognize the project directory automatically. Now let's import our keyframe, which is the aged picture we created with FaceApp. Click select and choose that frame. Now we need to tell EBSynth where the effect should start and end according to the frame numbers of our sequence. Apply the number of the starting keyframe on the left and the number of our last frame on the right. In the middle, enter the frame number we used in FaceApp. To smoothen out the effect, click Advanced 
and enter a value of around 1.5 in the D flicker section. Now click select and choose the folder you want to export the effect to. Click run all and let the software work its magic. Take into consideration that this could take some time. Now take the new export and import it into After Effects. Align it with the original footage, animate the opacity and basically you're all done. And here are some extra tips to take this effect to the next level. Mask out the effect from different areas of the face like the eyes and mouth where the software can have some issues with. Add some sharpness and grain to blend the effect even more with the original footage. And to create a smoother transition, use the levels effect and animate it to create a luma key transition. And that's how you can create a professional looking aging effect. And by the way, FaceApp just launched a new feature where you can apply this aging effect to your video. So that's always an option to go with, but take into consideration when you do that, that you may suffer some quality loss to your video and lose some of the control you get when using the method we just showed you. So we hope this video helped you out. If it did, slap that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel with that notification bell on to never miss another video from us. Now, let's talk about that giveaway. One lucky winner will win an ArtGrid Creator subscription plan. All you need to do is comment down below what do you want us to talk about next. Then take a picture of yourself sitting on your editing station with Artlist in the screen. Take that picture into FaceApp, apply the age filter, upload that into your Instagram stories and tag us at artlist.io. The winner will win an ArtGrid subscription, so don't forget to tag us on your Instagram stories. Here are the winners from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you, my friends. Until the next time, stay creative.